The rear speakers on an old Chevy truck are hard to get to. They're behind this plastic panel, and if you want to get to them, you have to take everything out. You have to remove this plastic piece. You have to remove the roof plastic piece. You've got to actually pull the back seat out and remove the armrests and everything out of the back. So I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to cut the speaker out and then put a grill over it. So we're going to use this cutter to cut this vent out trying to approximate the size of it without going too big for our speaker and grill holders. And we're going to end up with something that looks like this. Ah! Make sure you wear safety glasses because that happens all the time with this tool. There might be a better thing than a Dremel that you can use to cut, but I don't know what that is. All right, there is a rectangle. The tricky part with this grill is this this seat belt protrusion. You can see that it doesn't want to lay flat because it's going to bump into where the seat belt comes out. So probably have to grind off some of this in order to get it to ride right over the speaker. The other option would be to get a bigger size speaker grill and put it over this. We probably should have done that if there is a bigger size. And the other thing, I don't know if it exists, but if there was just some kind of stick on thing, self adhesive stick on grill, that would be ideal because then we wouldn't have to worry about mounting it with screws or anything else. And there's the hole. It's kind of sloppy, but you can see one, two, three, four bolts hold the speaker on and we're going to wrestle it out of the hole and then try to put the new one in. I have seen evidence of people putting a six by nine speaker in here. So if you want to go big, uh, you can do it, but you'd have to cut away some of the sheet metal because this is there's sheet metal right here so if you wanted to take a metal snipper cut a big hole in your sheet metal you could put a six by nine in here i guess there is enough room behind it if you space it out right and then use the grill on there and just have a massive uh, woofy tweety three-way speaker there and there's a look at the hole you can see it's it's specifically cut out for four by six and while I'm in there, I'm going to stick a little bit of insulation against the back of it to kind of try and improve the sound quality of the speaker, reducing some of the road noise from behind it. And I bought a kit that comes with the appropriate adapter. It's got one wide and one skinny connector. That way you know for sure that the positive and the negative aren't going to get mixed up when you wire it in. When you tighten up the bolts here, you want to make sure that you don't over torque them, but don't over under torque them. There's a little bit of nuance to that, but you're screwing into sheet metal, which means if you turn too much, you're going to strip out the sheet metal and then you won't have threads anymore and you'll have to find another way to screw them down. So just put them in tight, but not too tight if that makes any sense. And then uh, clean the blood off the walls and put a grill on it. So because it's a four by six speaker, I've picked up a five by seven speaker grate that we're gonna just put over it. And then it should look pretty decent if we mount it straight. And what we're gonna do is just drill holes close to the edge and then use these little clippers. So on these, I'm gonna have to cut down further so that my, I can get my clip on there. So I'm cutting off little pieces of this insulated tape and I'm using this rather than some kind of scotch tape because I don't think it'll vibrate or make funny sounds once we're playing music in here. And so I put the put some of the, put the clip on and then I put some of this over the back of the clip so it can it can wiggle around when we tighten it and we can put get the speaker into place but it'll still it'll still hold it and keep the clips from falling down inside the door while we're screwing it all together. All right, so there we go. We're going to cover this ugly hole with this beautiful grate which is great. So we gotta find each one of the holes gently and get them started, but not totally tight. There we go, that one's got grip. Oh, it's so perfect. Beautiful. I reckon that'll do. Get in there. All right, there we go. Not too tight because it's just there's just one layer of gription on the metal clips. The the wall isn't completely flat, but this thing flexes enough where it it uh, goes flush with it. And to the untrained observer, that looks like it it came this way. Actually, it looks like Radio Shack from the 1970s, but we'll take it. That'll keep the the seat belt from whacking into it and make everybody happy.